Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video. So, uh, this video is just kind of um, an impromptu video that I actually, actually had like no intentions of making, but um, I'm here! <laughs> so, uh, this video is going to have two parts to it. Um, it's going to be an update and an announcement video. So, we'll start with the update first. Um, if you've been following me on my Instagram channel, you'll have known that I have a sick dog. So Komori, my dog, um, has had, let me think here, three vet visits now. And he's scheduled for a fourth one in three weeks time. Um, he has a very bad ear. Uh, his right ear is not too good. It's got a very large growth in it and it keeps bleeding and it's like itchy. He keeps scratching at it, shaking his head and blood flies everywhere. It's nasty. <laughs> um, so uh, the first vet visit that he went for, um, we put him on some medications and he had a little mist thing that I had to put in his ear and um it was going well it was it was really going well um he'd stopped bleeding he wasn't scratching as much he wasn't doing anything like that so we figured things were going well uh he had another vet visit in a week from then and nothing had changed it was the growth was still as large as it was and um it just nothing had changed. So they tried a different medication, um, same oral medication, but a different ear spray. So we tried that and he went back again and still nothing had changed. Actually that time, uh, was just like a few days ago. It's Saturday right now. He went on Thursday and, uh, Thursday morning, his ear was bleeding again, which it hadn't done in quite some time. And so that was pretty disappointing because I was, I thought we were over that, but no, his ear started to bleed again. And so I was like, well, at least it's bleeding when we're going to the vet, right? Like at least they can maybe see where exactly the blood is coming from or whatever. Um, so we went to the vet again and apparently they think that the blood is coming from underneath the growth and seeping up. Um, so we're not sure whether something more is going on underneath the growth um, that we can't see because of the growth or whether it's just the growth itself but it's bleeding on the underside or what it is. We don't know. So they've upped his oral uh, medication now. So he's got like double the amount and um, they given him a different ear mist thing to put in twice a day. So we're doing that and he's going to be on that for three weeks time. Now, and then in three weeks, he goes back. So that's going to be the beginning of June and we're going to see if it's done anything. And if it has great, that's what we're hoping for. Even if he has to be on medication for the rest of his life, like he's 10 years old now. Uh, so even if he has to be on oral medication or even like something in the ear, even both, you know, like it's not a big deal for me. I can do that. Um, but if nothing has changed, speak of the devil, there he goes. <laughs> if nothing has changed, um, we might have to look at something else and unfortunately that something else might have to be surgery to actually go into his ear and take out the growth um we don't want to do that however for several reasons uh the first reason being he's 10 years old <laughs> he's never had a surgery in his entire life um they did sedate him at one of, uh, at the first vet visit that he had, um, they did sedate him so that they could get into the ear a little bit more and he took well to the sedation and everything. So that's hopeful, 
but still he's he's 10 you know like do we really want to put him through an extensive surgery at 10 years old like and that's the second reason this is a pretty extensive surgery because essentially what they have to do is they have to cut open the ear canal to get down into the growth because it's so far in the ear and so it can't be done here I'd have to take them we're probably thinking like three hours away um, to get that done so that's the second reason, you know, just tra having him travel three hours. He's not a very good traveler. Um, he's never really traveled. Well, actually, he's never traveled that far in his entire life. The farthest he's traveled is to these vet visits right now, and it's like half an hour. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just the traveling thing. And then it's the cost. Like, they said he's probably going to have to have a CAT scan before the surgery and the CAT scan runs at like $800 and then surgery after that is who knows how much really so you know it's just all these factors um, we'll have to see that's all I can say is we're, we're just like no pun intended here but playing it by ear <laughs> and uh, just gonna see what happens because that's all we can do um, since his vet visit on Thursday, his ears stopped bleeding around, I'm going to say probably like 5, 30, 6 o'clock on Thursday. It stopped bleeding and it hasn't bled since. So, you know, maybe the upped ear thing and oral medications are working. Like, I don't know. Um, but the last time, the space between him bleeding the last time was like just about two weeks. And then he started bleeding again for that day. And we didn't do anything to make the ear stop bleeding. Like there's nothing that we can do to get it to stop bleeding. So it stopped on its own. But <laughs> why it's bleeding, we don't know. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. And please cross your fingers and pray and send positive vibes to him that it's not going to bleed anymore and that we can start shrinking this growth with the medications so that he doesn't have to have surgery. <laughs> so, uh, that's the update part of this video. <laughs> um, I will keep updating you guys on how he's doing and you know, his vet appointments and stuff like that on my Instagram. So here's a shout out. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please do so. The link is in the description box below. <laughs> And uh, you can get all the updates on him. Because this is, I'm thinking, most likely going to be the only video that's going to be on his progress. I'll just keep updating people on my Instagram from now on. It's just, I was doing this video, so I was like, I might as well just add him in there. <laughs> so the second part of this video is my announcement. So originally... I was hoping that my announcement was going to be a baby snake, but not yet. <laughs> the breeder has said that they, the eggs should be laid this month um, sometime. His snakes have started laying eggs now, um, but the last time that I talked to him, which was about a week and a half ago, um, he was still waiting for like 80% of his snakes to lay. So, and the black tail creepos were in there. So, um, I'm patiently waiting. I'm just like, every day I'm checking my, my Facebook messenger, which is how we communicate and, uh, seeing if he's left me a message saying that the eggs have been laid, but nothing yet. So patiently waiting for that. We can't rush these things. They take their own time and lay when they lay. So, we're waiting for that, but I do have an announcement. And my announcement is my dog, Kamori, who is laying over to my right, and my cat, Piper, who is currently behind the camera, <laughs> have become pet ambassadors for a company called Squish Pets. And Squish Pets is a Canadian-based company. Um, I'm going to be posting pictures starting now over here, just kind of with some of their products. 
and um, Squish Pets is online. Uh, they have an Instagram channel, which I will flash here. And I'll also put it down in the description box below. And they have a website and you can get to their website through their Instagram. So you can check that out yourself. Um, but yeah, they have a whole bunch of different products. Um, everything from leashes, harnesses, uh, food and water bowls, costumes for animals, bandanas, um, portable water dishes, um, you name it. They, they've got it, really. It's uh, mainly for cats and dogs, although they do have some rabbits on there too, modeling some things. So you could probably use it for that too. Hi. Oh, come be in the video for a few minutes. You're never in the video. This is my cat, Piper, if you didn't already know her. <laughs> And so we became ambassadors for them. And how that works is if you go on to their website and you buy anything, it can be as low as $12. It doesn't matter. It can be as high as $300. Uh, if you buy anything, you can use my personal code, which I'll put on the screen here, uh, mylovablepets18. And uh, with that code, you can get 25% off of your purchase. And it's not just a one-time deal. So anytime, if you buy tomorrow and you wanna buy two days from now, you can reuse that code and it's another 25% off. So it's usable all the time for as many products as you want. And the best part for me <laughs> is that if you go and you purchase something and you use my code, I get a commission from it. So that goes towards helping me keep these videos going and to provide a good life for my animals. So please do. If you have a cat or a dog or a rabbit <laughs> and you want to get some of these products, uh, please check out Squish Pets. They have some really good products and uh, we're going to be bottling those products. So every now and then I'm going to be getting something from Squish Pets and uh, either this little one here, or my dog Kamori, will be modeling them and they're gonna show up on Instagram. Okay, <laughs> go on then. Um, they'll show up on Instagram and we will specifically say that we got this product from Squish Pets so that you can kind of see what they have if you haven't already bought from them by then. And uh, yeah. We've never been ambassadors before, so this is quite exciting for me. So I'm interested to see what kind of things I'm gonna get. Um, it's not just for these guys, so I'm hoping to be an ambassador for these, for Squish Pets for quite some time. Um, if I get another cat after Piper passes, that cat will be an ambassador. I know I'm gonna be getting another dog after Komori passes, so that dog will be an ambassador as well. So uh, we're just going to continue on with this. So please think about purchasing from Squish Pets using my code and you can get a whole bunch of good products from them. Um, if you have a large dog, they have, it might have already scrolled past here on the screen, but they have big backpacks for them and water bottles for small dogs. They have costumes and it's just really cute little sight to dress up your pets with. So check it out. Uh, like I said, in, their Instagram is in the description box below here and you can get to their website through that Instagram so that you can purchase from their website. So check that out, please. <laughs> um, let's see here. The next video, um, I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that the next video is going to be my announcement that the black tail creeble eggs have been laid. <laughs> I'm really hoping that that is going to be my next announcement. I have everything all set up here. I am ready for this black tail creeble again. 
If you're new to my channel, I did have a yellowtail Karibo baby from this exact same breeder. Um, something went terribly, terribly wrong. Um, I will post uh, the tag for that video if you want to watch it. Um, but yeah, the little baby snake ended up passing away on me. And so I contacted the breeder and here we are again. So I am now waiting. I'm trying to get a black tail Kribo. Um, but if I can't get a black tail Kribo, I will be getting another yellow tail Kribo. So hopefully my next video is going to be on that. Um, we're going to see though. You never know. You never know. I might have something else that I want to put on a video. Who knows? <laughs> Again, if you have any suggestions for a video, if you want to see anything specific with any of my animals, um, please let me know. Comment down below and I will see what I can do. Um, again, if you have any questions about any of the animals that I have, whether it's species related or actually a question about my individual animal, um, comment it below and who knows, I might do a Q&A in the future. So. <laughs> um, Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.